What is up mga kaserye? It's your boy senor and welcome to another motoserye. Today we are here at Gearworks Moto Shop located at 248 C. Raimundo Avenue in Barangay Maybunga, Pasig City. Today's episode we are going to feature the 60th anniversary edition of the Yamaha Aerox 2021. So we'll talk about the design, the setup, the upgrades of this motorcycle, how much did it cost, where was it from. Specifically, I'd like to point out that for the rear brakes of this model we will feature today, it has already been modified from a drum brake to a disc brake. So if that's something you're interested in, we'll talk about that in a bit. And before we do that, just a quick shout out to our good friend, Mr. Henry Chan of the Hansi Additives, the makers of the best helmet chin mounts in the world. Thank you so much for the riding jersey I am wearing today. And this is designed by Imprint Customs. If you are interested in getting one, it is available in Shopee. The link is in the description of the video. Let's get right into it. Right off the bat, the thing that makes this model stands out from any of the other Aerox 2021 would be its color combination. This is the only model that was released in a multicolor variant such as white, red, and a touch of yellow. All the other Aerox 2021 models comes in two-tone, such as the red and black, the blue and black, and the likes. And all of them share the same specs and features. Just to name a few, they come in a 155cc, four valves, single overhead cam, four strokes engine. It's fuel injected, it's liquid cooled, it comes with Y Connect, it also has VVA or variable valve actuation, stop and start system. It comes with ABS brakes in the front. It also has a non-ABS or a standard version. Now for the tires, the size in the front is 110 by 70 by 13. And for the rear, it's 140 by 70 by 13. Those are just some of the specs that you can expect from an Aerox 2021. And now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about the setup of the motorcycle we will feature today. Let's go! And just so you know, all the items that we're going to talk about today, you can buy them right from the Gearworks Motor Shop. First, let's go ahead and talk about the carbon panels. So this is the small V, and this will cost you 4,000 pesos swap to your stock. And the brake levers, it will cost you 2,000 pesos swap to your stock. The next part that we're going to talk about is the patilla, or this is for the um, front fender. And this will cost you 3,000 pesos swap to your stock. At the side, we have the side fairing for, um, that can be found along the foot peg. And this will cost you 3,500 pesos swap to your stock. On the other side we have the air box cover and this one will cost you 3,000 pesos swap to your stock. Last on the carbon parts we have the compartment cover and this will cost you 1,500 pesos swap to your stock. Moving on we'll talk about this um, winglet 
the Aerox winglet, and this will cost you 1,800 pesos, also here from Gearworks. Over at this side, we have the Genma foot matting, and this will cost you 2,300 pesos. Next up, we have our DS4 radiator, and this one will cost you 2,800 pesos, while the Samco Hose will cost you 1,200 pesos, available at Gearworks. This one is the push lock cell phone holder, and this will cost you 550 pesos. Moving on, we have our premium stock seat assembly, and this one will cost you 5,500 swap to your stock seat. Over at this side, we have the Koso crankcase cover, and this one will cost you 3,500 pesos here at Gearworks. Of course, we have to talk about the rear suspension, guys. I'm sure you know what that is. So this is the Olin's rear suspension. The height is 305 millimeters, and this will cost you a whopping 46,000 pesos. Let's go ahead and talk about the braking system here for the front mugs. So here we have the Brembo front caliper and this will cost you 11,500 pesos and the bracket will cost you 1,500 pesos while for the roller disc this is an AGM brand the size is 260 millimeters and this will cost you 4,000 pesos while the Garuda brake hose, this one was bought online and approximately was around 5,000 pesos. So this one also comes with a mini driving light and the mini driving light charge here at Gearworks is 3,500. That's an all-in including the, the mini driving light, the bracket, the switch, the wire, and the label. So guys, now let's now talk about the rear brake conversion. So what happened was they bought the swing arm for the NMAX version 2 and have it attached to the version 2 of the Aerox. So the difference is the swing arm for the Aerox doesn't have this where you can install your calipers. So this is one of the things that they did. So change the swing arm. At the same time, they bought the stock caliper and the stock rear brakes so there are a few things that they bought here the hydraulic hose for the rear then the rotor disc the stock calipers and the stock swing arm and at the same time they had to change the mugs so the mugs that you see here this Jiren mugs that you see is already for the NMAX B2 model. So they had to change that in order for this to work, including the ones in the front. So what happened is they had to make a little adjustment in order for the V2 mugs to fit in the front of the Aerox B2 model. So in total, they were looking at for the mugs, the calipers, the swing arm, the hydraulic hose, the brake master, and the rotor disc, we're looking at about 25,000 pesos just for you to be able to convert the rear brakes from a drum brake to a disc brake. Lastly, for the CNC bolts that they, they've installed here, we are looking at, for the set, it's 6,500 pesos for the CNC bolts. And you can get that here from Gearworks. Mga Kasir, that wraps up our episode for today. And if you are interested in the parts and the upgrades that we talked about, feel free to get in touch with Gearworks. I will leave their contact information in the description of this video. So again, this is your boy, Senor. Remember to always ride safe and don't forget to pray before you drive. Until the next area, Senor, now signing off.